Man, what's good, YouTube? Man, it's your boy Zans, man. AKA Zan, man. AKA Zan with a plan. It's a date. I'm finna hit y'all boys with a little class setup. In my opinion, top five best class setup. You feel me? Um, y'all boys, let me know how y'all feel about them. You feel me? If y'all wanna test them out, try them out. You feel me? Hey, and let's get into the video. First off, we're going to start off with in my eyes. You feel me? The best battle rifle in the fucking game, man. The best beat. You feel me? And to start off, we're going to give y'all the muzzle, the VT7 Spitfire Suppressor. In my eyes, it helps with a lot of recoil, control, and a lot of... And a lot of like when you when you aim down your sight and you see that, you feel me? Yeah. Nah, let me stop. I'm just joking with y'all boys. But nah though, the V2 the VT7 Spitfire suppressor helps with a lot of recoil control, accuracy, and damage range. So that way you get up on the enemies, you get a faster TTK time to kill. TTK, you know. For the underbarrel, I use the Kimura Ren 03 vertical grip. That also helps. Helps you with a lot of recoil grip. Gun kick control, vertical recoil, aim sway, aim and all this sway stability, and your fire aim stability. And that that basically means when you swing your gun left to right, you know, you won't be swaying so slow. You'll be able to ADS quickly, get your sauce off more faster, and do what you gotta do. For my optic, I use the Niter Model 2023 optic. Honestly, it's just a better optic in my eyes. As you can see, we're gonna go to the firing range. I'm gonna show y'all. Good sight. It got an orange dot, which is also cool to it. Fast finish. Help you lock on to the enemies quicker, you feel me? Um, I don't use a barrel. I don't use a laser. I don't use a stock. Honestly, on for me, I feel like it's just better without it. The gun already has a lot of jumping. It does a lot of jumping. It does a lot when you're shooting. Got a lot of recoil, a little bit. So I just use none of it. If you want to use a laser, I will give you an option to use the one milliwatt laser. Right? It helps with your recoil control, hip fire, and attack stand spread. Or the FSS oil EV laser. It helps with your aim and eye stability and down sight speed, sprint to fire speed. But the laser will be visible when you aim down sight. So if you have enemies in the area, they'll probably see your laser. They'll see your laser when they come in your vicinity. I use a 45 round mag. Just so I could run around the map, you know, in this game, you run out of ammo quick, quicker than you did last year. Honestly, I don't like that, but hey, that's just how it is. And I run a STT-88 grip. That helps you with firing aim, stability, gun kick control, and recoil control. Um, it, it, it says it it says it messes up your aim and eye stability sway, but in my eyes, it's not that bad. As you can see in the firing range. You're not, you feel me? You're not moving too slow, but you're moving. You shoot, you, you can lock on and then you quickly. You feel me? So, it's not that bad. For my secondary, I use the Renetti, the pistol, the Renetti pistol. But I have the conversion kit. If you, uh, I'll give you guys the setup for this. I use the Series 710 pistol laser. Helps me with a lot of fire rate and range. Also, it helps with your aim and stability. I use the, once again, the Niter Model 2023 Optic. Hey, like I said, it gives you a better aim sight for me. I use the Bruin Onslaught Grip. Helps with your gun kick control, recoil control, and your fire aim stability. Because this gun does have a lot of recoil when you shoot with it. So that's better for me. And I run a 50 round drum. Like I said, you run out of ammo quickly in this game. So here, here you go. And like I said, I run a conversion kit. So to make it feel like an SMG. Cause I ain't gonna lie, I, I like pistols that feel like SMGs. So that's that's this is my secondary. Uh, I run a tactical stem. You feel me? I run two frag grenades, not one. I run a uh, munitions box, assault gloves to help you in ADS jumping, covert sneakers so my enemies don't hear me when I'm moving, and I run bone conduction headset so that way it reduces the enemy sound when they're near me so I can hear them. 
but if you if you want to use anything i i would recommend you use tack mask because it helps with flashes stun grenades or you can use the ghost tv camo don't sleep on this man this will help you move around the map quieter when you if you have a suppressor on your weapon like i do you can use ghosts and you want to pair up on the mini map uh next class i use the hoger 556 a lot of you guys know about this gun it's a great gun in my eyes a lot of people may not like it but i like it so uh once again i use vt7 spitfire suppressor like i said it helps you a lot with your damage range accuracy and recoil control for the barrel i use the creos eight six six match barrel this barrel helps with the bullet velocity and range recoil control and gun kick control uh for me this is the best one if you do use if you don't use this you can also use the cross x short barrel which helps with your spit to fight speed aim and walk speed and walk steadiness and movement speed but it does decrease your bullet velocity and your range but with what i run the way i run it you won't you won't even feel it a bit so uh, i run a slate reflector as an optic this is another good optic in this game you get a better um you get to see better you've got a better visual sight with this ads i mean with this optic so as you can see you know not too bad that's me bad aiming it? but you know so yeah that's that's my that's what i like to run on this uh i also have a 40 round mag once again like i said run out of ammo quick in this game so 40 round mag is good for me uh and i use the xrk edge ebw underbarrel great great underbarrel i'm not gonna lie to you guys this is a great underbarrel it helps with your aim walking stability, movement speed, aim down sight speed, and spit or fire speed. So that way you can get your shots off a lot quicker. If you don't like that, you can also run either um what I like to run is the 556 NATO high grain rounds, or you could run 556 armor piercing rounds. It helps with your bullet pen penetration, but it's not bad. Uh if you want to run a stock, the stock I would recommend is the RB Adult Assault Stock. Uh, sometimes I like to run stockless. I don't know. I found myself liking stockless weapons. It does hurt, but that's if you on like a map like Shipment or Rust. If you're on a small map, it helps. Um, for my secondary, I run the P890 pistol. When I say, guys, when I tell you this pistol beams, bro, it beams, bro. Uh, my barrel is the Matuzet Cottonmouth barrel. This barrel helps with a lot of bullet velocity and range, gun kick control, hip fire control. I mean, hip fire accuracy and recoil control. Sorry about that. Uh, in my eyes, I've always found myself liking this barrel for some reason. Even on MW Modern Warfare 2, I stopped finding myself liking this barrel. So, great barrel. Uh, for my laser, Series 710 pistol laser, I always felt like this laser made this gun feel so much better, guys. So, here you go. I, I'll show you in the firing range how good this, this pistol is. This could be like a two-side, two-side, three-side pistol, but it's... Great pistol, guys, in my eyes. So, um, I run a 12 round mag, you know, run out of bullets on this game. So, and, and the stock is like, uh, I think it's like a nine, 10 round mag. So, I run a 12 round mag. I run an FJX DF DVF 60 grip. This rear grip helps with a lot of gun control, recoil control. It doesn't really, you don't really see it when you aim, when you have a lot of aim idle sway. You don't really see it too much. So, um, sometimes I caught myself running a brewing, brewing ankle grip, grip anchor grip because of the flinch resistance but i felt more attached to this fjx dv so you can, you, you can run this if you want uh for my trigger action i use the bruin express fire rate that's all that needs to be said about this one fire rate real good spread the fire speed may be a little bad but it's only this pistol is really made for close quarter situations not really yeah not really too many range combat or Fights like that with a lot of assault rifles. It's really when you get up on those SMGs, get in their faces, do what you got to do with them. Um, for, for this one, tactical stem, two frags, uh, munitions box. I run assault gloves. That's so, like I said, helps with my jumping accuracy, ADS, and improve all that. Covert sneakers, like I said before, helps when you're moving. You, you, the enemies doesn't hit, don't hear you running. So, you know, and I run bone conduction headsets again. Oh, sorry about that. On the last loadout, I missed that. I run a demolition vest. So that way I could run two lethals instead of one. So and it and it, re it resupplies my tactical every 25 seconds, which is good. Uh for my next loadout, 
I'll be giving you guys the SVA 5.56. A lot of you guys already know about this gun. This gun is one of the best ARs in the game. Uh, once again, I run a VT7 Spitfire. Like I said, this muzzle is a great muzzle. I, when I say, guys, when I tell you this muzzle really, in my eyes, it really melts enemies, bro. Like, enemies don't. And one thing about, I noticed about the SVA, you use it a lot. This gun, the, you got to hit the first two shots for this gun to be, for this gun to be great. You miss the first two shots, you might lose a gunfight. Um, for the barrel, use the STV Precision Barrel, one of the best, really the best barrel in the game with this gun that makes this gun so great. Uh, it helps with the aim and idle sway, bullet velocity, gun kick control, recoil control. So, nothing really to complain about with it. So, um, like I said, the gun's just overall great, man. Uh, I don't run a laser, I don't run an optic, don't run a stock. Uh, for my underbell, I run a brewing pivot, vertical grip, helps with gun kick control, vertical recoil, aim out of sway, and fire aim stability. Uh, uh, lately, I've been using the brewing heavy support grip because I don't see my guns, even though my guns don't normally have recoil, when I use this support grip, for some reason, it makes my guns feel a whole lot better, easier to use. I still get ADS quicker, so... That's just personal preference, though. If you guys want to use this, I recommend it. Uh, another one I recommend is this Chimera Ren 03 Vertical Grip. Uh, if you don't use that, I just recommend you to use the DR6 hand stop. This one helps with aim, idle, aim walking speed, aim down sight speed, spread fire speed, and movement speed. But that's if you're one of those movement players. If you have a, if you feel like you want to move around the map, be aggressive. You can always be aggressive with this gun. But what I would recommend, if you're going to be aggressive with this gun, you no stop. You gotta run a no stop if you're gonna be aggressive with this gun. It just makes you uh, it makes your movement speed a whole lot better. You spin the fight speed a whole lot better. Your ADS quicker. It'll be a beam with this gun if you run no stop. Uh, for my munitions, I run ammunition. I run 545 high grain rounds. You know, bullet velocity, damage range. It's, it's it may mess up the recoil control a little bit, but you won't notice it. So, yeah, I run that. And if, like I said before, you run out of bullets a lot quicker in this game. So run a 45 round mag. Uh, oh, I run the Renetti pistol. This is my class for the Renetti pistol. I run the FT steel fire muzzle for to be undetectable by radar, bullet velocity, aim and fire, fire instability, and recoil control. Uh, I run the Series 710 pistol laser. Like I said before, I feel like personally this laser just helps pistols be a lot more accurate and fire rate a lot more better in my eyes. I use the uh, slate reflector as my optic, 24 round mag, and my XRK heavy. V4 trigger. It helps with the idle sway. I aiming idle sway, spin the fire speed, and aim down sight speed. We'll never see yourself losing gunfights with it. Uh, I run for this one. I run infantry vest, tactical stun grenade, frag grenade, munitions box. Once again, assault gloves, covert sneakers, bone conduction. You may see this on a lot of my loadouts because I feel like these are the best perks in the game to use in my eyes. So you may see those a lot. Uh, for my next gun, I use the new Ram 7 a, uh, AR. It's not a bro. I swear this is the best AR in the game. Uh, I use the Model 2023 optic. Like I said before, best optic. Uh, I run a 40 round, but I found myself running a 60 round. A 60 round is not bad because it gives you a lot of ammo. But that's if you're on those bigger maps and you feel like you're running out of ammo too quickly. But it does hurt your aim down sight speed, your reload quickness, and your spirit to fire speed and movement speed. But that's if you're, it only is only bad if you're not a movement player. Me personally, I'm not one of those guys who feel like I have to have the best movement or the greatest movement in the game. I just play to my my particular stance and stats that I like. So uh for the underbarrel, like I said, this brewing heavy support underbarrel, great underbarrel. It helps you, it helps your guns be a lot more accurate, bro. Like, look at this, look at this. I'm gonna do it for the fire range, you'll see. Gun, like, it makes the gun so much more accurate. I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna buy this missed shots right there, but <laughs> that's me. It makes the gun a whole lot more accurate, though. I'm telling myself, like, in uh, I, oh, sorry about that. For the barrel, I also use the XRK Core Mark 40 Heavy Barrel. It helps with your gun kick control, aim idle sway, recoil control, and bullet velocity, and range, and damage range. So, therefore, when you have range on, like, a map, if you want to, say you want to play slow on a map like Rust and get your nukes, here you go. You can use this gun. This is a great gun in my eyes. 
Uh, another thing I like, I noticed myself using is a laser one day. Um, it's not really bad if you put a laser on here. It's actually great, good. But if you're going to add a laser, use the one milliwatt laser box. Hip recoil and hip fire stat, attack stat. So you get those hip fire kills more easier. Um, once again, I'll show you the class for my Renetti SMG. Uh, I run a tactical stem, two frags, munitions, assault, assault gloves, covert sneakers, and bone conduction headset. Once again, with this one, I run a demolition vest. And last but not least, for my last assault rifle, I run the MTZ556. This is one of my, bro, I love this gun. I ain't gonna lie, I love this gun so much. I use this gun a lot when I'm running shipment or rust. It's a great gun for shipment and rust. Uh, I run the you see this on a lot of my guns because this muzzle is, bro, it's a great muzzle, bro. The VT7 Spitfire muzzle suppressor, love it, bro. Like I said, helps with a lot of fire rate, damage range, recoil control, and accuracy. For my barrel, I run the MTZ Clinch Pro Barrel. It helps with a lot of bullet velocity, damage range, aim auto sway, fire aim stability. And, bro, like, it just helps you when, when you want to know like, maps like Grease or High Rise. And, and you see those snipers, you can beam those snipers from afar, bro. You won't have no problem. The best, I run a slate reflector as my optic. For my stock, I run the MTZ Marauder stock. It helps with a lot of recoil control, gun kick control. Uh, the cons say spent the fire speed, sprint speed, and movement speed. But like I said, if you're not one of those movement players, you don't have to worry about not using it it's a really great stock in my eyes like i said if you want to be one of those movement guys you can always run the no stock mods the, the honestly i i ran a no stock mod before on my on my or most of my ars that i showed you guys and no stocks aren't bad they are actually good so but that's personal preference like i said i don't run a um rear grip don't run a magazine because i use this for smaller maps don't run ammunitions but i do run the brewing heavy support grip so if you want to run this you can run this if you want uh if I, I if i recommend a laser for you guys to run i would recommend the fs olv olv laser or like i said the one milliwatt laser box a great laser uh if you want personal preference you can always add the 50 round drum you're just going to be moving around the map a lot slower and yeah man uh run the renetti once again i run the renetti pistol sorry about that run the renetti pistol these are my same same attachments from the last one so if you want you can screenshot this take a picture of it uh run, run stun grenade frag grenade munitions a saw glove like covert sneakers bone conduction headset best perks in the game man uh and i will give you guys a uh, special class i like to use which is going to be another bass b class in my eyes um i like to run this no stock bass b I found myself liking a no stock Bass B, even though a Bass B is not supposed to be a no stock weapon. But I like this. I run a ZLR Talon 5 muzzle. It helps with a lot of bullet velocity, fire, aim stability, and recoil control. And you're undetected by undetectable by radar when you're moving around. Um, uh, I tried to run a barrel on it, but I didn't like it. But if you do want to run one, I would recommend this Bruin Venom Long Barrel for helps with bullet velocity and damage range, recoil control, aim and auto sway, and gun kick control. So it's not a bad barrel to use. Uh, I run the Night Arm Model 2023 Optic. I run a no stock, man. Uh, this gun, I like. I, like I said, I'm not one of those movement players, but when I want to get into that groove and just chill and just have fun on the game, I run the no stock, man. It helps with your sprinter, sprinter fire speed, aim and walking speed, movement speed, and hip fire and attack spread. And this is a great no stock. Uh, I run a 45 round because when I'm on those smaller maps, you know, I'm running out of those bullets. So, and I'm running a movement class. This is a movement class, guys. So, this is what you need the 45 round for. And the funny thing is, I seen myself using on this weapon is incendiary rounds. It may sound weird, guys, but I swear, guys, this these incendiary rounds make this gun feel. Bro. It really makes this gun feel like a loser, bro. You feel me? Even if I was to use this in Warzone, but I wouldn't use this. I, I would prefer you not to use this as a Warzone, Warzone gun. But it's not, bro. It's, look, bro. It's, it's not that. It, it got a lot. This gun really has a lot of recoil, so that's why I use it on those smaller maps, like I said. So, um, I run the Renetti, the SMG Renetti. I'll show you guys again in the class. Uh, I run one stem, two frags, munitions, assault gloves, stalker boots. 
Uh, I run the stalker boots because, like I said, this is a movement class, so it helps it increase my scrape speed and my ADS movement speed. So that way, I can AD, I can ADS quicker, aim down sight quicker, and scrape along the map. So I'll be good. And I use the EOD padding to reduce damage from those kill streaks, those explosives, and fire. The people who run like those dragon, those dragon breath shotgun shells. Yeah. So that's my class, y'all. If y'all want to use it, make them. Hey, let me know when y'all want to tune. When y'all want to um, tune in with me, run with me on Warzone. And that's the end of the video, guys. I'm out. Just like, comment, and subscribe, guys. All right, uh, boys. What up, bro?